It is Monday, December 7th, and this is your Hope Update. Now today, December 7th, is a date which will live in infamy. It is the anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941, famously said, a date which will live in infamy. And as I think back at that day, I, I think, you know, what a scary, crazy time that must have been to, to have U.S. soil attacked. Um, I'm sure it was a really dark day, a, a, a frightening time. And then I think over the last 79 years, how many other dark days have there been since then? I'm sure there are many, and we've had our share of those in the last year. Uh, and I say that chuckling, but I mean, let's be honest, it's been a rough year. And some of us right now, this moment is a rough moment. It's a dark moment. But here's what I believe, that over the last 79 years, we've had far more bright days, far more hopeful days than we have had dark days. A lot of it comes down to where we choose to put our focus. And so um, this week's Hope Update is gonna be a little bit different. I, I mentioned this weekend that I've done, I, I think the count is now 33 of these over the last year. And for today's Hope Update, I'm turning the tables and I'm inviting you to be the people who uh, share hope this week. And I have a very specific way that I'd like you to do that because we believe that even in the darkest times, Jesus is still reigning. He's promising that someday he's going to come back and he's going to redeem all of this. We look for the bright spots. We look for the flickers in the darkest night. We are people who look for hope. So this week, I'm going to ask you to be the ones who share hope with me and with each other. And like I said, I got a very specific way to do that. Um, to share how I want you to do that, my friend Anne-Marie Wallace, um, she shared with us this weekend in worship a little bit more about something called For Such a Time as This, a way that you can be bringers of hope. I will let Anne-Marie carry the rest. I hope you listen to her. And more important, I hope you do what she says, do what she invites you to do, and let's share hope. God bless. Well, if you can believe it, there are only four weeks left in 2020. And we as people of faith are intentionally flipping the script on this year, looking past the obvious difficulties to really see God's hand working in this year. And we're calling it for such a time as this. And this phrase comes directly from the book of Esther. And Esther was a young woman who found herself in some really tough circumstances. But thankfully, she had a very wise uncle named Mordecai who reminded her that God uses all circumstances for his plans. And Mordecai said to her, who knows, maybe you have been put in this exact position for such a time as this. And I know that many of you here, as the year is coming to a close, have been reflecting on that as well, seeing the ways in which God has moved throughout your life this past year. And we wanted to be able to capture that. So in fact, we've created a website, pathfinderstl.org slash time. And there we've been encouraging you to submit your, your stories of how God has been moving through your life this, this year. And no story, big or small, should be left out from being shared. And so I encourage you to go there, but I also want you to know that there you can read other stories and I wanna share this one with you. The college kids just recently came home again for Thanksgiving. Typically they would say hi, then run off to see friends. But since we are all trying to limit our exposure prior to seeing the grandparents, everyone stayed home. We sat in the family room yesterday and talked, all five of us, for hours. We've had a deeper togetherness than I could have imagined at this stage and age of our family. I'm trying to savor every minute of it. Now, personally, what I know for my family and myself is that God has created this moment for such a time as this, and that we wanna be part of His plan all in His timing. And I also know that this church is a part of His plan. And so with God's plan and this church, I feel deep in my soul that people who are far from Christ are gonna find about His love, His grace, His truth, and this year, will have been a huge turning point for them. 
And for us, man, that means everything. Now, if you are on a faith journey here at Pathfinder, I know that especially during this season, there are a lot of places where you could be generous, but there are not many places that can confidently say that they make an impact both now in the present and also in the eternal. And so my prayer is that you all take this moment, you seize it with both hands to be generous this year because we know that God's plan is going on and we know that this church is a part of it. And I want you to be a part of that as well. And just as a reminder, I said there are only four weeks left in 2020. And if you've been watching the news, you also know that there's been some changes to tax laws that make this time even better now to give. And so I really, really hope that you join us on this great journey. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, we know that you hold all things in your hand. In fact, it is said that your timing is perfect timing. And so Lord, we pray that as we reflect back on 2020, that you open our eyes to see all the ways in which you have been moving throughout this year to make both a present and an eternal difference in the lives of the people that you love. And Lord, then I also pray that you open our hearts so that we can see how you have called us to be a part of your plan. And Lord, I pray that you continue to bless this church as part of your plan to make a difference in the lives of so many. In your name we pray, amen. Now, if you're here in the room with us and brought a physical offering, I'm gonna ask you to hold on to that until the very end. But you can also go online to find out more ways to give as well, pathfinderstl.org give.